Welcome to Knowledge Plaza. Click on subscribe button. Click on bell icon and select all. And thumbs up for more videos. Namaste. Once again, welcome to Knowledge Plaza YouTube channel. It's all about mathematics. So today, as I'm before you to discuss about some of the numerical problems regarding the electric charges and electric current, which was discussed in the previous video. Okay. Before going to solve like uh, numerical problems, we should know some basics or points which have to remember. Okay. Well, the, the flow of electric current is measured by using the device called ammeter. Ammeter is a device which measures the flow of electric current in a conductor. Okay. And the smallest units of electric current are milliampere and microampere. Milliampere means 10 to the power minus 3 ampere and microampere means 10 to the power minus 6 ampere. These are the very smallest units of electric current. Okay, these points you have to remember. These are well helpful in solving the problems. Okay, okay. Let us discuss about the problem. That is, a current of 150 milliampere flows through a circuit for two minutes. Find the amount of charge that flows through the circuit. Okay, here you need to find the amount of charge that flows through a circuit. Okay. What they are given here, firstly write the given things. Current is given, that is 150 milliampere. So this is the very smallest unit. So you, are, you need to convert it into ampere only. That is 150 into 10 to the power to minus 3 ampere. Okay. And next, time is given, that is 2 minute. Right. So we can convert this into seconds. 60 into 2. That means 120 seconds. 120 seconds. And then what we have to find here? Amount of charge. That is Q. Okay. So what is the relation between current, time and charge? That is I is equal to Q by T. Right. Simplify the values here, which implies that Q is equal to I into T. Okay, Q is equal to I. I is 150 into time is 120. Then we are getting 150 into 10 to the power minus 3. No. Next, multiply. Okay, you will get 18,000 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay again for the simplified what we are getting 18 into 10 to the power 3 no 18,000 can be written as 18 into 10 to the power 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay these things will get cancels then what is left 18 is the 18 coulomb is the charge amount of charge flowing in a circuit okay Unit of charge is coulomb. So, 18 coulomb of charges flowing through the given circuit in 2 minutes. Okay. Let us discuss about the next numeral. Okay. Now, let us discuss about the next numeral. A total of 6 into 10 to the power 46 electrons flow through a circuit or conductor when connected through an external power supply for 20 seconds find the value of current in the conductor here you need to find the value of current okay so what they are given here number of electrons flowing in a conductor that is n how much 6 n to 10 3 power 46 electrons were flowing in that conductor okay and for about 20 seconds time is 20 seconds here you need to find the electric current flowing through the 
conductor that is I okay we know that relation I is equal to n e by t n e means that number of charges flowing in that conductor that is q is equal to n e now substitute the values there we will get the value of i n is 6 into 10 to the power 46 okay the charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 okay divided by t t is time taken that is 20 okay here simplify 2 3s are 2 tens okay and here 10 to the power 46 into 10 to the power minus 19 it becomes 10 to the power 46 minus 19 is 27 right okay and 3 into 1.6 1. 1. is 4.8 into 10 to the power 27 divided by 10 okay now it becomes 0. 0.48 into 10 to the power 27 and here is the current flowing through the conductor okay and let us discuss about one more example let us discuss about the next example that is find the number of electrons that will flow per second to constitute a current of 2 ampere here you need to find the number of electrons that is en okay and what they are given per second that means time is given in one second how many electrons are flowing in a conductor constitute a current of 2 ampere okay we know the relation that is i is equal to n e by time taken and also we know that the magnitude of electric charge is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb okay so what they given n we have to find i is given t is given let us simplify those values i i is 2 ampere time is given in one second which is equal to n into v n is at the find and the charge of electron is at 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 okay so n is equal to 2 and this quantity comes to the denominator of the right side so sorry left side 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 10 into 10 to the power 10 into sorry 10 to the power minus 19 comes to the numerator it becomes a 10 to the power 19 only and if we simplify it you will getting 0. Point, sorry 1.25 Okay, we are getting 1.25. When we divide that 2 by 1.6, 1.25 we are getting. So these number of electrons are flowing in that conductor in one second. Okay. If you have any doubts, you may ask in the comment box. Okay. If you like the video, like, share, and subscribe the channel.